Hi guys, it's the Ramen Noodle Goddess, and today, in case you didn't know, I like penguins. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this little cute little awkward blue penguin pillow that I got an idea off Anna Shine. She's a YouTuber who makes a bunch of DIYs. So since I love penguins, I thought I would do this DIY, and si and because it's blue, I wanted to represent my little favorite stuffed animal that I used to have all the time and play with all the time when I was a little tiny child. Tuxedo Sam, it's a Hello Kitty type of toy. It's a um, little blue penguin with a red tie, but I don't have the red tie, and a sailor's hat, which I don't have the sailor's hat on either, it's just, so it's just a blue penguin, it's just a blue penguin. But today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this, basically. That's it. Okay. So the first thing you're going to need is some type of big paper or construction paper. And you can just draw an outline of the penguin's body on a folded piece. And you can make it however big you want. I didn't measure mine and I just went by hand, so I just drew a big semi-circle or half-circle on the paper. And after you are okay with the, like, I guess the big type shape, you can go ahead and cut it out with some scissors and you can make some trimmings later at the end if you want. Like I said, after you're done with your with cutting out your shape out of the construction paper, you can go ahead and make some trimmings because when I draw circles, they're not even, so the ends always end up pointed, so I'm cutting those off right now. next thing I'm doing is I'm taking this big piece of blue fleece fabric and this will be the body of the penguin. Since the penguin's blue, I'm going to be using the blue fabric like I said already. So I am just doubling up this fabric so that you can have two different layers of the body but the same distance around, I guess. So you can go ahead and take your little tracer or whatever you'd like to call this and place it wherever you would like on your piece of fabric and just trace it with a sharpie or a pen so that you can cut it out later. After you've got your fabric all traced out in the shape you want, you can go ahead and get some fabric scissors and cut your shape out. After you've gotten your two body circles or whatever you'd like to call those two pieces of fabric I just laid over, you could go ahead and grab your little tracer thing again that you use to make the body. And now we're going to make the face and I made a mistake on this so what you're going to actually do is make a big loop like I'm, do loop like I'm doing here but you need to make the little neck area bigger than I did if you could see where it looped in really narrow to the edge of the paper right there you have to make that bigger so that the neck isn't really tiny you have to make it big and thick so not as like like I did it not like I did it so I had to end up doing it again on hand on a separate piece of construction paper I did it as well as I could to try and make it as even as possible and to make it look as good as possible. So after you've done that, you can also see if it will fit on your two blue pieces. Afterwards, go ahead and get another piece of fabric. I'm using white for the body. Only get one layer of this because you're only going to need one and start tracing that onto the white fabric. 
After you've gotten all traced out, you can go ahead and grab some fabric scissors and cut that piece out. After you're done with that, go ahead and only take one layer of that blue fabric that you have set aside and take your white piece of face and body fabric, I guess, and lay it on top of the blue fabric and see how it looks. The next step I'm doing is I'm taking this orange rough type fabric, I don't really know what it is. It's not fleece because I couldn't find any, but it's orange for a beak so I decided to do it. Go ahead and cut out a tiny little triangle for your beak. And next for the eyes, I couldn't find any black fabric, let alone fleece, so I decided to use some dark blue, navy blue fabric my mom had. So these are for the eyes. Uh, so this was the closest thing I could get to black, but it doesn't really matter anyways. I thought it still looked good. So for the circles, you're going to want to start out pretty big because you can cut it smaller, but you can't make it bigger if you want it to be. So after you cut those out, you could go ahead and place them onto your penguin's face to see how it looks good uh, with the beak and place it where you want. Next, you can grab a hot glue gun and just place glue onto the face and make sure it stays there, <laughs> I guess. Next thing you're going to want to do is take that other piece of one, like the only one piece of that blue fabric, and you're going to lay some hot glue along the edges of your of the back of your white piece of fabric for your penguin so that you can glue it on to your blue fabric. Now carefully place your face and body onto your blue layer of fabric and if not all of your sides are fully glued down you can go ahead and lift, lift up some edges and glue it down securely. Next, take your second layer of blue fabric and just promptly, equally place it over uh, the face of the penguin. Make sure it's nice and lined up and equal before you glue it down. And excuse my hair, that's kind of getting in the camera. Next, take a hot glue gun and glue inside. You can also use a sewing machine here and just sew along the outside edges to make sure that these stick together. Make sure that when you're hot gluing this down to leave one pretty big space opening enough for your hand to fit through so that you can later inside out your little pillow thing and later on stuff it with some pillow stuffing. in your sides glued it should look like this and it should have a hole somewhere I put it at the top of my penguin and you can go ahead and inside it out so later after this uh, apparently my camera ran out of batteries so it didn't catch the part where I stuffed my pillow but basically you just have to stuff it with a bunch of pillow stuffing as much as you want and later go ahead and flip inwards, I guess you could say, the two tops so that you can glue it together. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this little DIY. Watching me how I made this tiny little awkward little looking penguin pillow that resembles one of my favorite stuffed animals in my tiny little toddler childhood tuxedo Sam used to have a little sailor hat on top, but somehow that got ripped off. But this is, how, this is somewhat supposed to resemble Tuxedo Sam without the tie because I couldn't find any red fabric that I had. So I hope you, again, enjoy this video. 
Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you want to catch up on more videos, challenges, games, DIYs, and other weird random videos. Leave any comments or video suggestions down in the uh, comment section below. What else am I forgetting to say? Oh yeah, if you want to be more caught up than just subscribing on my videos, then go ahead and follow me on Twitter because that is where I will always automatically go to right after I upload a video or do anything on YouTube. So, feel free to stalk me. Also follow me on all the... I only think I have like two other social medias besides Twitter and that's Instagram and Facebook. I don't use my Facebook that often, but I do go on my Instagram quite a bit. So all the links are down in the description below. So again, subscribe if you want more videos and I'll see you guys next time. Merry Christmas if you celebrate it. Bye-bye.